Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today Apple did in fact release iOS 12.2 Developer Beta 5. So let's go ahead and get this installed onto our iDevice here and check for any new features, changes, and see if this beta version outperforms the rest. Really quick, before we get started, go check out Clean My Mac X. I put a link down below to make it super easy to find. Basically, this is my go-to Mac cleaning software. It cleans up my Mac, protects it from viruses and malware, and also it speeds up my hard drive to make it as fast as it was on day one that I got my computer. So again, link down below. I hope you guys enjoy Clean My Mac X. Okay, so we have beta five installed onto our device here and uh, let's go check out some further information about this beta. The build number here you can see is 16E5223A. And since we have that small a at the end, uh, that indicates that this is not a GM version. Uh, Apple hasn't in fact been releasing GM versions with their updates. So I'm not really expecting there to be another version of iOS. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but if we go and take a look at the storage, uh, you can see that uh, the storage available has changed from previous. Um, I actually got about a one and a half gigabyte um, kind of reduction in storage. So I think this update did relieve a little bit of my storage capacity. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if that is the same for you. This update only came in at 281 megabytes. So I'm not really expecting much, but we'll go ahead and check out some changes and features. Now, the first thing that I noticed was, of course, the storage that was reduced. Uh, but the next thing that I noticed was a smoother animation from the Apple TV remote. If we go ahead and tap on that remote, you can see that it's very smooth no matter what. Um, if we 3D touch it or just tap on it, um, it's very smooth. Uh, the animation, the best example I could find uh, to what it was doing previously uh, was the home, uh, the home app here the home widget or control center widget. And it was just very stuttery, um, very abrupt, and um, it looks a lot better in beta five now. But as far as the control center goes, no other changes. I did notice in fact though, that my Beats headphones does not show the battery indication here on the top right. Only um, another select pair of Bluetooth headphones does that. So hopefully that is kind of fixed within uh, the next beta or the official version. As you can see here, they are connected via Bluetooth and you can see the battery level. But when you go here, um, it shows kind of like an icon representing the battery level. If I connected my Beats, it would only show the uh, Bluetooth icon, um, but it as well would show uh, the battery level here, but it just wouldn't show that icon up in the control center. Now, as far as anything else goes, any other new features, um, I did go ahead and check out any you know, new wallpapers, still none here. Um, and I don't see any new features or changes within this beta. Um, it's sort of a dry one here, but I think that the major part of this beta was to really smoothen up the performance and get it, um, get iOS 12.2 as stable as possible. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out some benchmarks here and then we'll go into real life performance. Um, as far as CPU performance goes, uh, you can see here that our newest update uh, received a single core score of 4,809 and multi-core at 10,762. And if you look at what we got in beta four, that's pretty much within the margin of error. Um, typically these scores fluctuate within a hundred points. So um, I'm not going to really say CPU performance has changed. Uh, now, same goes for the performance on the compute, but we do see a bit of an increase here. On beta four, we got a 22,119. And if we take a look at beta five, we see a 22,936, which is actually quite a bit of a jump uh, just from beta to beta. So I'm really excited to see that. Uh, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot better graphics performance here. And uh, you can actually see that in our real life performance here. So let's move on to that. Now that compute score has actually translated into some better performance here. So if we go throughout iOS, you can see that our performance with animations and everything like that is really smooth. Um, everything seems to animate quite well. If we open and close apps, uh, you can see that everything is loading, the GPU is loading all of this information here, and um, it's actually doing a very good job. So I think that uh, as far as performance goes, in previous betas, I was seeing slightly worse off performance, uh, but that has definitely changed in this beta version and actually in beta four. And now we're actually seeing everything 
everything pretty much smooth up in regards to performance. So that's really nice to see here. Uh, we're seeing a lot smoother animations overall with uh, 3D touch, force 3D touch, so that's really cool. But other than that, uh, we're not seeing many other changes here. Uh, I think that the official release of iOS 12.2 is obviously very close to us here, simply because we're now seeing um, a lot of performance improvements and a lot of uh, performance stability focus rather than any new features. So um, we should be seeing an official version coming real soon here uh, to our iDevices and uh, this is kind of an indication of that. Now one other thing that I did want to uh, share with you guys was uh, our battery performance here. Our battery performance has increased, I believe, with uh, Beta 4. Uh, last week we kind of uh, touched on this where battery performance was really good. So we'll definitely be focus focusing on this with Beta 5 and provide you an update uh, later in the week. But battery life so far, I can't really say how it is on Beta 5 yet, but with Beta 4 it was really good. So we'll kind of give you guys an update as far as if that continues or not. Okay guys, that was iOS 12.2 developer beta five. If you have any comments, questions, anything, comment those down in the comment section below. Also, if you have any new features that you discovered, any bugs that you discovered, or maybe just anything special to say about iOS 12.2 developer betas, go ahead, comment those down below, or you can bring that discussion over to our Discord server, which I'll have linked down below as well. We'll also be with you guys later this week with a follow-up video for Beta 5 talking about battery life, performance, and maybe any bugs that are affecting our uh, kind of experience on Beta 5, and also maybe some more news on when we should be seeing an official version of iOS 12.2. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to get subscribed uh, and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as we release our content. Uh, we'll have some upcoming content on iOS, some other devices for Apple products and everything like that this week so make sure to stay tuned for that anyways again thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next video peace